and welcome to this session. We hope you've been enjoying the Applied ML Summit so far. I'm Henry Tappan, Group Product Manager for Vertex AI, and I'm joined today by Cengiz Uchbenli, Global Head of Big Data and AI at Vodafone. Hi, everyone. And we're really excited to tell you more about how Vertex AI helps you get models into production via MLOps. Now, if you've worked on machine learning problems for any period of time, you've probably realized that getting a model into production is vastly more difficult than just getting it run on your laptop. The source of so many challenges is that machine learning, when used in the real world, needs to be able to react to continually changing circumstances and novel situations that you just don't encounter until you try to use it in real time. If you've ran into these struggles, you're not alone. The IDC found that only 36% of the surveyed enterprises that they consulted had succeeded in putting completed models into production. Vertex AI's MLOps suite is designed to help you overcome the challenges with production ML. It aims to make your machine learning processes resilient to the type of volatility seen when using AI to solve real business critical problems. Vertex AI does this by helping you move from one-off manual processes to regular automated workflows, including data processing, training, and deployment. With your models automatically retraining and redeploying, you can be sure that they're up to date with whatever's changing in the business problems that you're trying to solve. Last year, Vertex AI delivered its first set of MLOps tools with the launch of Vertex AI Pipelines and Vertex AI Future Store. Both of these components help you orchestrate the many tasks involved in training and pushing a model so that you can automatically and safely rerun them whenever new data comes in. This year, now that we see many more models reaching production, we're building new tools to help you maintain high model quality. Our new monitoring and governance tools will help you catch issues before they become problems, and when you do find them, solve them. So why don't we talk through a few of them? To start, when developing new versions of models, you want to make sure that you're continually improving over previous versions. Vertex AI's experiment tracking allows you to capture and compare metrics from various model runs. With it, you can chart the accuracy of your models over time as you rerun pipelines or try brand new approaches. Vertex AI experiment tracking also integrates with Vertex AI's serverless TensorBoard, so when you see something interesting, you can easily dive in and get more information about it. Once you get to regularly updating models, managing the sheer number of artifacts can quickly get out of hand. That's why Vertex AI Model Registry is there to help you with the chaos. Vertex AI's Model Registry organizes your model artifacts by version. Once you've registered a model, you can easily push new versions out to model consumers without them having to update any of their code. Vertex AI's Model Registry is designed to work with any type of model and deployment target, whether that's through BigQuery, Vertex AI, custom deployments on GCP, or even out of the cloud. And finally, as with any system that you're depending on, you want to know that your machine learning models are working correctly and, if not, to know how to fix them. Vertex AI's model monitoring suite automatically analyzes the data flowing into and out of your model while it's deployed. It looks for distributional drift over time and can alert you when it finds discrepancies, along with a hint as to what you might need to fix. Model monitoring also helps you keep an eye on other parts of the ML process, including looking for problems with your batch predictions or with data being fed into the feature store. Now, we realize that success in machine learning depends totally on success in data processing. That's why we've designed these and other MLOps tools to fit into Google Cloud's broader data portfolio. Vertex AI gives you total flexibility in the tools that you use to complete your machine learning journey, whether that is specialized services like Dataflow or Dataproc, or even generic Python code. You can easily mix and match different tools as you compose entire ML workflows. In fact, just recently, we rolled out special support for BigQuery ML throughout the whole platform. You now have, for example, pipelines components that can help you orchestrate complete BigQuery training and deployment steps, like training, evaluation, and otherwise. Or you can manage your BigQuery ML models via the model registry. Now, to tell you a bit more about how these tools can work on real problems, I'm going to invite up Cengiz to tell you a little bit more about how Vodafone is applying Vertex AI. Thank you very much, Harry, for the opportunity. I would like to introduce Vodafone a bit uh, with some numbers. 
So basically, Vodafone is a global telecommunication operator uh, operating in more than 21 markets uh, and serving more than 300 million customers. Vodafone has a three-layer strategy. Uh, we would like to optimize our core businesses and eventually we would like to move beyond connectivity business and establish new areas to you know, uh, generate certain new revenue streams. I would like to also show you in the next screen uh, our Vodafone AI strategy. Basically, we examine various industries, uh, adjacent industries, some novel technology companies, and try to understand our gaps in the area of uh, AI. We end up with three pillars to basically uh, identify our overall AI strategy. The first one is real-time AI. So basically, it's all about you know, using real-time streaming data to make timely predictions about customer churn, customer NPS, or upsell, cross-sell opportunities. And also, the second one is AI at scale. It's all about basically building once, deploying many times in various markets uh, so we can reap the benefits of economies of scale. And also AI everywhere, this is also another critical important pillar for us because we have various type of business functions that can benefit from the power of data and AI. So this is also a critical pillar for us. So basically uh, when it comes to AI everywhere, there are five dimensions we are generally focusing about reaching out to customers, right? Finding the right customer, making the right offer through the right channel, on the right time, and also with the right message. So these all areas can be optimized by uh, AI algorithms. That's why uh, applying AI algorithms in various facets of the business is so critical for us. So this is a long journey for us. We started uh, with some fragmented big data and AI solutions uh, with Hadoop clusters in the past. Uh, right now, we are trying to basically unifying our platform in infrastructure uh, over cloud-based uh, solutions. AI Booster or Vertex AI is the pinnacle of that you know, journey for us. So basically it brings us uh, this power of scalability. We built a template in certain markets and scaled it over to other markets. This is one of the key uh, feature of AI Booster uh, where we benefit from uh, in Vodafone. And also the other uh, important critical area is that zero ops and zero delays in our productionizing uh, pipeline. Uh, and also leveraging Google's uh, novel uh, prefabricated models is one of the big plus of AI Booster. So since I mentioned real-time AI, AI everywhere, AI at scale, of course, you know, Vertex AI is a, doing a good job stitching all these together with the right talent. So in order to basically achieve that, uh, thanks to Google's uh, all support, we've been able to basically train uh, and educate our data scientists and basically turn them into a blend of data scientists and machine learning engineers so they can basically build up POC and basically put that POC uh, into the production by themselves without any IT assistance. So this is a great step forward for us to accelerate the overall AI journey here in Vodafone. Well, thank you, Cengiz, and I'm glad to hear we're able to help you out. Um, well, there's so much more to hear about at the Applied ML Summit. We hope you guys have been continuing to enjoy this and other presentations for it. Thank you very much for joining us today.